One of the most common uses of AppSense data now is to provide users with secure mobile file access and sync capabilities across all of their various devices. Think of this as a secure alternative to a consumer cloud service like Dropbox, where instead of sending data out to the cloud, you're providing that same type of consumer style experience across all devices using your existing on-premise storage. What you're looking at right now is our web-based administrator console, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to tie it in with your existing infrastructure. As you can see, you just simply point data now to your existing Active Directory environment, so there's no need to duplicate user management in multiple places. And as you can see, we can even pick up things like the user's home directory right from Active Directory. Now, of course, there may be many other locations in your organization where users are storing files, including places like SMB file shares or perhaps a document management system like Microsoft SharePoint. Adding those locations to data now is just as easy. Just give it a name, input the connection string, and specify whether you want files to be synced to user devices automatically or only as requested. And the nice thing about this is that we read and respect all of the existing access controls on the Windows server, so there's no need to recreate all of those relationships in data now. In addition to giving you complete control over where files are stored, you also have an extensive set of policy controls that you can use to manage how users access files remotely. For example, you can control whether or not files can be opened into or out of data now, as well as wipe data from the device based on a variety of contextual factors. We can even detect if a device has been jailbroken or rooted and wipe the data based on that case as well. Even though data now is very sophisticated on the back end, the user experience is very simple. I'll start here in Windows. You'll notice that instead of a Dropbox icon in my system tray, I've got a Data Now icon instead. So either through Windows Explorer or right through the system tray icon, I can get into my Data Now folder. As you can see, I have a mix of group file shares along with my own home directory to save files into. In this case, I'll just open up my home directory and drag this PDF from my desktop. As you can see, it synced that file up right away. And once again, this is not sending the file out to the cloud, it's using the existing on-premise storage that's completely under the control of the IT team. Once a user begins using data now, their files will instantly be available to them no matter which device they're using. In this case, if I open the data now application on my iPad, you'll see that all of those same storage locations that were available to me in Windows are here on the iPad as well. And if I go into my home directory, that PDF file that I just uploaded is already here and available to me. Now based on the IT policies set by the administrator, I'll either be able to view the file only within the DataNow app or open it into third-party applications. DataNow lets you turn this feature on or off for security purposes, or if you use DataNow in conjunction with MobileNow, our companion product, you can also limit it to only corporate applications. I've done that in this case, so as you can see, I can only open this PDF file into applications that have the green and black MobileNow insignia, even though on my iPad, you'll notice that I have another application that is a PDF app that's not being seen there. So you can see here where MobileNow takes the additional step of controlling which applications can share files with DataNow.